Hello everyone, it's the Dread Pirate once again. And for those of you Word of Wolf fans that have been checking out my channel due to the archive, uh, I've got some updates for you, but what is this? Well, this is my regularly scheduled content. This is uh, what I normally do. I make dumb D&D &D games, uh, and me and my friends uh, have lots of fun where we kill monsters and um, do wacky things with elves and Marvel characters and Overwatch characters, and we make stupid jokes. And we, you know, that's that's normally what we do. And uh, I do encourage you to keep on going and keep watching it. But, um, yeah, I, I think we do some pretty good stuff. And it's uh, it's pretty awesome. I also do reviews and things like that occasionally. But uh, for those, but, like, um, we do have a bit of housekeeping. And a lot of it does have to do with Word of Wolf. So let's get that out of the way right off the bat. Um, the uh, I'm still continuing to take all the videos that are on the channel right now and uploading upload them to my BitChute. Uh, my BitChute and the playlist are in the description below. So basically, feel free to go there. Subscribe to me there to continue to get Wolf's content. Uh, as I've said in previous uh, previous videos, um, the, the moment I started basically uploading Wolf's content, I was hit with tons and tons of copyright complaints. Most of them were for sound. If you all recall, a lot of Wolf's content, a lot of Wolf's videos would end with some... Some kind of like alternative like rock music that he would play, which was which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, they they instantly was like, yeah, you got a copyright claim for that song, and it's like and like so I muted most of it. The biggest things I ran into were the Jurassic World uh, review and Justice League. Justice League got hit with so many strike, uh, not strikes. No, <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I got a strike. Justice League got hit with so many complaints it didn't even finish processing, and I'm not even sure if I'll be able to upload. I'm gonna try to upload it again, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it ain't gonna be here for long. Uh, Jurassic World uh, got hit with five five claims, which I disputed, and those claims came came from Zephyr Universal, the same assholes that work for Universal that came after Wolf and Mauler the first time around. And at that point, I realized uh, you know it's dangerous to keep my stuff here, so everything the archive is going to be uploaded to the bit shoot. As it stands now, I'm still working on uh, uploading everything. Um, what I'm what I'm doing right now is basically just all the videos that are on the website right now in the archive are being um, are being uploaded uh, steadily to BitChute. Uh, I'm working on his Halo Reach retrospective right now, actually. Um, and um, it, once it's fully uploaded there, that video will be deleted here. So for those of you who are checking out the archive, you're going to notice uh, as we go along, um, those videos are going to be slowly deleted. Um, now, for... Yeah. So if, if a video disappears in the archive, it, was, it doesn't mean it was taken down. It means I deleted it, and it's over there at the BitChute... Uh, Bitchute playlist. So again, in the description below, go to the bit uh, Bitchute, go to my Bitchute, go to Dread Pirate on Bitchute, and check it out and enjoy Wolf's videos there. Um, once that's done, I will upload more videos of his content that I have onto YouTube. It will stay up for about 24 hours, and then it will be. I will also steadily send those over to um, my Bitchute, and those will steadily be deleted as well. Because if I got hit for this, I know, I know, like, like the Jurassic World thing was probably the biggest thing he had to deal with, um, and he even got lawyers involved. And uh, uh, look, look, the trailer, no, <laughs> no, and 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 my tolerance for bullshit is very low. For those of you who know me, uh, so it's just like, no, nah, we're not, we're not doing that. There's always a way on the internet. It's like I always said, it's in the motto of my freaking channel. Uh, you can't stop the signal, Mal. You can't stop the signal. Uh, Serenity, good movie. Go watch it. Um, so that's what's going to continue on. Uh, in the meantime, also, it's time I uploaded my, my own content. I've got a big backlog. We've got some more D&D &D games. Uh, me and Nick did a couple of, uh, a couple of commentaries and things like that. Um, yeah, we're going to, I think we're, we're talking, uh, the big thing that's coming up is how he plans to fix the DC, uh, the DC, the DCEU movies. It was his idea of, like, what would make things better. Um, which we need to do a part two of that because I was drinking at the time and I believe I fainted during the end of it. So we need to actually do uh, a part two of that of that chat. Uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, that's all we have for um, uh, for house uh, housekeeping. Uh, what is this crap all about? This is uh, for those of you who play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is essentially uh, City of the Spider Queen. It's a classic 3.5 campaign. It's excellent. It's really good. Uh, involves a campaign. It's a high level campaign involving uh, heroes delving into the depths of the Underdark, fighting demons and drow and undead with unfathomable horrors that uh, lay forward. But the difference being is that I'm DMing, and I'm crazy. Because, as a, a guy who's been role-playing for about 15 to 20 years now, I've, I've gotten to the point where I realize that um, there's, there's all different types of role-playing games out there. Most people, you know, it, it's getting more popular as time goes on, but most people only really know about Dungeons & Dragons. But it's not just Dungeons & Dragons out there. There's World of Darkness. There's 
Cyberpunk. There's uh, Call of Cthulhu. There is TSR Marvel. There is um, Savage Worlds. Fallout Pen and Paper. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Unisystem. Um, and, and many, many others. Many more popular. Shadowrun. Other crazy shit like that. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff out there. And um, basically, if there's a type of thing you like out there, like a type of show or type of thing that you're into, chances are there is role-playing information for it that is converted to one of these various systems out there. D20 is what I basically have been homebrewed on. It's like, uh, aside from other Josh, who needs to get his ass on here, who had his own homebrewed system, um, my my intro to role-playing really does come from D20. And I've learned that basically you can basically adapt anything to D20. So our game is special because we've got crazy shit in it. I've been playing Spider-Man for the longest time in it. Spider-Man, not just Spider-Man, but Spider-Man with the Venom symbiote on it. Uh, our one of our players, Digby, is playing Reinhardt from Overwatch, and other things are available. Basically, pretty much in my game, anything is playable. Anything is a go. I can handle whatever you come up with. I can handle it. So we have a really, really crazy version of City of the Spider Queen, and uh, that's what we got going on here. But enough of that. Uh, now we're going to do the next part of this show. Is after the housekeeping. If there is housekeeping that needs to be done, we're going to go with my intro. So stay tuned for that. See you in a minute. For those of you joining us for the first time. Our tale talks about champions from across the multiverse joining together to adventure in the world of Toro, the Forgotten Realms, where they must delve deep into the Underdark to stop the cult of Karansali, a group of maddened drow clerics who worship a goddess of vengeance and undeath, who wish to overrun the world in terrible revenants. The heroes that banded together to fight and save the day includes the amazing Spider-Man of Earth, but bonded to him is the terrible Venom symbiote. The mighty Reinhardt, a champion from the future, a crusader, and one of the founders of Overwatch. Zinn, a drow sorcerer who really just wants to get away from all the crazy drow women who want to cut his penis off. Devden, the tortured and brooding half-vampire, a uh, rogue and murderer, who basically sees this as an opportunity to redeem himself in the eyes of drow society and finally become accepted. And the strange paladin of Huar, a mysterious goddess, the dragonborn of Nadar. They are joined by... A Bodok that they've, Nadar of all people, somehow tamed and converted and is, well, kind of like their their puppy dog. And his name is Bodok. They ventured into the city of Maramidra and fought and found the stronghold of Irae Saran, Castle Maramidra. They stormed into Castle Maramidra, fighting their way through drow and undead and the champions of the cult. Came upon a terrible giant behemoth gorilla that almost smashed them until they kind of talked it down and befriended it and then you know, apparently, turned out he was a really nice guy, but he thought they were trying to pull something on him, so he just kind of excused himself. And as they they uh, they managed to capture a couple of drow guards, interrogate them, and figure out where exactly Ira is hiding, and they guided them on the proper way in order to get there. But it may have been a trap for the the passageway that leads up to Ira Sarong is a magical shaft in which one can rise at will, but it is haunted by a terrible creature, a beholder, but not any beholder. A dead beholder. A beholder's ghost. A horrible tyrant of the Underdark that won't stay silent, that won't rest, and all it wants is blood and death. It haunts them once again. Reinhardt's talked it down for the minute. But will it stay that way? Tune in now on City of the Spider Queen. Hello everyone, this is the Dread Pirate once again, and I have a room full of people, and, and uh... And today we have uh, have have Davis. Davis is here, and Welcome. Alex, and 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 Digby, and Nick, ah! and 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 Jed, and and nice. returning champion Malmoto is is joining us, and he's muted his mic. It, th this is going on YouTube, right? Yes. Yeah, so so let's not put more need... graphic pictures on the fucking screen. I need everyone to hit the like button, like that boy tongue pu tongue punched my oh, far boss. Thank you, sir. All right. It's gonna get demonetized, anyways. Um, That's exactly possibly, why. possibly, if awkward. someone were to actually watch my videos, yes. Uh, but anyway, uh, so anyway, aren't you uh, like the most popular D and D player online? Uh, so I, I hope so. That'd be great. It's like, like you know, the, no, we're not. Yeah, yeah. We the, I, I'm, probably you know, the least popular. That's my ten year plan. My ten year plan is always to meet Matthew Mercer and Laura Bailey and Travis Willingham and all them. That's 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 my goal. And Puffin Forest. I need you to eat that like button like Zach eats Puffin the cooch. Forest is awesome. Yeah, exactly. I, I agree. I'm wearing a blue shirt right now. I, and I play fighters. So that's cool. Uh, when last we met, um, 
the the party had adventured into the castle of Maramidra and they'd fought many monsters and, and many exciting things had happened and it was it was scary. It was really scary and they, they encountered a big scary ghost beholder and it scared the shit out of the party and that was fun. And you, you killed it for a minute, but then it came back because it's a ghost. And then, like, Reinhardt talked to it because Reinhardt just, like, befriends everything because he's weird. And Reinhardt's all like, will you be my friend? He's like, no, but why don't you just kill some, like, kill a drow, like, in front of me? That'd be cool. And like, okay, we'll go do that. And he's like, you better. And that's where you're at. And last we met, you are at uh, level three. And you're floating up the blue shaft at level three. Um, and that's where... Uh, that's where you've encountered the the big the big um, thingy, the big doom sphere uh, beholder ghost, and you're moving on up to level four. But before you get there, uh, Nadar shows up. So Nadar, here's what happened to you. Um, you guys, <clears throat> what the last thing you remember is that you you guys broke into the castle after fighting a bunch of rocks, and um, while you were doing that, um, you, everybody got settled. And then before you know it, you and the half vampire started arguing with each other and just bickering. And he was all like, "Like, well, whatever, Paladin, you're dumb and you're stupid. And like, my my parent, like, my mother never loved me and abandoned me and things like that." And you're like, "Oh, and like, you know, you betrayed us in hell and you're a dickhead." And you just started bickering for like 45 minutes. And uh, and then eventually the the half vampire just got fed up with you and went upstairs. And you were so annoyed and so irritated, you just decided to sit down there and just like, like, God damn, he's really annoying. And so you just kind of sit there for a little while, and you're not sure what happened, and you figure, I'll catch up in a minute. And then all of a sudden, a giant gorilla started very carefully tiptoeing downstairs, and it walked past you and said, excuse me. And it walked out the front door that you guys had bro broken open previously, and, and just and started hopping away. And Sounds fun to me. Yeah. It's you kind of you funny, should, actually. You, you, you thought you should catch up, so you, you've gone up the stairs and gone through, and now you're... To the gorilla? Uh, it, is, uh, it, it is a giant gorilla. It's huge size. Was he friendly? It's uh, a gorilla. He was very friendly, and he had a monocle on. Uh, so yeah, you. Anyway, uh, you I, have just you finally I, up. fucking grog. You you basically uh, you you are now in C six. You are in in the little blue circle in the center, and uh, and basically you discover this blue circle enables you to levitate. If you just will it, you rise up, and you're at the third level, and you found your party. And your party is talking to a beholder, and the beholder is transparent, and Reinhardt's talking to it like... Reinhardt's talking about, like, like we should be friends and work together, and he's like, no, fuck that. Hey, why don't you kill that, like, drow wizard in front of me? That'd be fun. Fuck that guy. And he's like, no, but we can get you another drow and we'll kill it. It's like, alright, you better. And he's looking at them. Then he looks at you, and it's like, you with them? Oh, I just discovered Overwatch. Yes. Uh, and, uh, well, he is Reinhardt from Overwatch, so... Uh, yeah, so you are now caught up with the party and you're at level 3. What are you guys going to do? Ah. Oh, God, it's a paladin again. Oh, hey! Uh, it's you. Uh, we were just floating up, says Spider-Man. Hi. <laughs> Did anyone else see the damn gorilla? Yeah, yeah I tried to make us friends. Oh, the gorilla. I tried to make friends with it, but this fuck was not fun. He doesn't like friends. See, I think the gorilla may have been a little bit more useful than the than the fucking mama's boy wannabe. Yeah, um... It's kind of right, sad if you're a mama's boy wannabe. It was gonna kill us, and then Reinhardt talked to it, and it seemed very friendly and very knowledgeable about, like, space-age technology. It was really weird. And then Devden just told him, like, he was gonna enslave it, and then he just decided to leave. So it was... Should I go and talk really to him? To me. I, I mean, we... You're probably more useful to us here, buddy. I mean, you know, we need that axe, but, uh, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, just don't get killed hmm. out there, you know? Hmm. I'll be killed if I want to. I would like to pray to my deity about an answer for this. The the beholder is looking at all of you as like, why haven't you killed a drow yet? Um, you may pray to your deity. Uh, roll D one hundred. We haven't Wonderful left to go answer. get a drow, so why would we kill one? There's a drow right there, a delicious drow mage that needs to die. And that drow. Do is not kill me. Mm. The, the the drow the, the holder, the holder ghost just like like beams all its eyes like directly at you just smiles. Ninety two. Shit. What Thank what God. specifically are you asking your deity? 
if I should go make friends with the gorilla. Uh... If he would be useful to us in the party. You have a vision. Uh, you have a vision, and um, you go, you're at a children's, you were a teacher in a children's school, and there's wonderful children everywhere, and it's like, oh, it's 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 Teacher Dadder, he's here, he's, he's, he's Professor Dadder's gonna teach us something today. Hello, everyone, hello, I brought something for you, and you have this beautiful stuffed monkey. This beautiful stuff, and then, oh, the monkey, the monkey, it's like, and everybody's playing with the monkey. Everybody's playing with the monkey, everybody loves the monkey, everybody's having a wonderful time from the monkey. But there are some people that are, there's some kids that are at their desk and are not playing with the monkey, and mind you, these are like, kind of, like, some of the kids look like they're preschools, others look like they're, like, in high school. And those high school kids, mm -hmm. it was like, well, the monkey's really cute, but I think we should really focus. There's a lot of important things. I want to become an astronaut. I want to become, I want to become president. I want to become... Uh, I want to. I want to help the environment. I want to do this, that, and the other. We should really focus. And it's like, all right. Well, then, very well. I'll start the class. You point at the chalkboard, and the chalkboard you see is a giant dungeon pathway. It actually opens up, and there's you see the roof that you're like floating upward in, into the tower, and it's moving forward. And as you're going along, you suddenly in a long winding path with monsters and demons in your way. And at the end, there is a, a, a bald woman who turns around and looks at you, with half her face missing. And um, that's the, that's the vision you have. So on one hand, badass monkey. Yes. On the other hand, go forward. Boring. Okay. Question. <laughs> yes. That is a tough decision. Is? Say it again. Does this character know what an astronaut is? Um. Well, I mean, he have to make a knowledge check for that. He his god is sending him strange visions. And Jed has Jed has bounced, as he often does. My God is giving me quite the notion about this monkey. Yeah. Well, the, the, people mean, enjoy it, it, monkeys. It's open to your interpretation, um, because uh, the essentially, like one side of your vision is suggesting the monkey would really be beloved and possibly useful for taking care of your class. However, the other hand. Your class, all some of your class may wish to focus and may wish to do something else. So it, it all depends on how you interpret this dream, this, this vision. Um, some might say, some okay. Might, for example, one of your um, children might want to become a railroad engineer and they might want to drive a train going past that Davis's house. Yes, they might want to do that. Sorry, yes. <laughs> and I will tell them that being a railroad engineer, though pays good money, is a living that is not worth it. I think Davis should feel bad for living in a house next to a railroad, uh, r railroad, and it's completely his fault that that the game was interrupted by the railroad. It's not like he couldn't do anything about that. It's not like it's. I think he needs to stop having shitty hair. Yeah, you know, fuck that guy. You know, he's such a prick. I think someone needs a better hero name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> King Explosion Murder is the best hero name of all time. All right, next uh, next person who dies is the name of the character, stupid. King Explosion, Explosion Murder Hero. I demand it. Um, Nadar kills himself. How do, you, how do you kill yourself? Um, by going after that monkey. Um, okay. Um, in order to do that, you would have to go back down the blue. Um... That is fine. Okay. All right. At this time, I would like everybody to roll initiative, just because. Oh my God! The party is being. <laughs> That's our idea. I'm in, I'm in need to be able to keep track of the two of you, so it's like initiative is the best way I find to do this. So um, that's our idea. Oh Let's God. just sacrifice Zen to the beholder. That way he can catch up to everyone else's level. Oh, oh I don't want to reveal I'm... spoilers, but yeah. Ooh, what if that were to happen? I have a, I have a character I created. I have a character I created, Matt. Eddie, you know this. I, I do know this. You know the character. I, I do know the character you created. Which, which one? Okay, my character. Uh, my, excuse me, my NPC Spider Man, who's not my character, because I'm good. DMs don't do that. Um, they don't. They don't play their own games. Uh, there they do. Uh, there they go. Yeah, yeah. Um, like my character would be really super happy to see this other character, but he'd also be super sad if Zin died because he likes Zin and he doesn't want Zin to die, and he'd probably blame himself for Zin's death because Spider Man blames himself for everything. So you know, like, so I don't. I, yeah, so. Spider-Man really doesn't want you to die. Um, Spider-Man rolls a 16. I mean, yeah, give me a minute. Let me 27 for Devden, 11 point. for uh, Reinhardt. Um, Hold on. Hold on, I need to pray for a moment. 22. Okay. I'll be, I'll be back. Give me a minute, I need to pray. Okay. I need to pray for a moment. Oh my god, he took you seriously. <laughs> uh, Nadar, 22. I shall return. Okay. 
Um, Spider-Man, let me take a look at his character sheets. So, uh, Spider-Man has a 29. You know what would be way easier? Uh, what's that? If they just went first and I went second? Yeah, but, I, I mean, like, I don't, yeah, I, it, it, it's a way that easily helps me balance things out, so, I mean, it's... Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, 20, not natural. 20, not natural? Okay. Uh, that's your best initiative score, like, I've ever heard you do. That's like a, I know. Jesus helps. You hear that, Namoto? Yes, Jesus. Right, Dirty what about the man who slept with a man? Atheist. Anyway, uh, all right. Uh, Bodok has a twenty-three. Did he save on his constitution roll, agility roll, what? Uh, he uh, he he prayed to have a good initiative score, and he actually got one. It, like his initiative prior to this has been absolutely atrocious. And it's like, but but Jesus Wait, did helped he him pray himself. in character, or did he? No, he pray prayed out, out of character. character. Yeah, so it's I like pray so out of character. Yeah, I so the point is, Dave is like, the point is, Josh, that's you need to re you need to rethink your life, and you need to convert to. Eddie? That's meta gaming. Meta he needs to reroll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't. No, that nonsense. No, no, you gotta reroll. You gotta reroll. Re yeah, no. I will put my hand on this one. Go on, roll again. Let's see what it should be. It could be a natural twenty. No. Oh God! I'm afraid. I don't want to do this. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. You're fine. Well, it could be a natural on. twenty. See, this is Eddie's GM bias for hand waving God and everything. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have we're having a religious discussion, religious debate. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay. There is no debate. God isn't real. Anyhow, go uh, on. With your I bit. disagree. I disagree. I'm sorry. I just, I just love the state. I, I just love the statement. I love that statement. What statement? The the statement of good. There is no debate. There is no God. That that's a funny statement. It is a funny line. It is a funny line. And the last person that's gonna roll is this guy who gets twenty three. Who okay? Who else rolled a twenty three? Someone else rolled a twenty three. Bodoc. Uh, okay. <gasps> Wait, Bodoc's going with me. Uh, you, you're gonna have to. Well, you you you'll have to like. You started moving down the thing. You're gonna have to go back for him. I yell, Bodoc, come on. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll have him go on his move. Um, and yeah, Bodoc is. Bodoc, Bodoc is, is happy to guys. see friend. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Spider Man sees you starting to float down and call for Bodoc. It's like, hey, dude, dude, wait! And he starts floating back down the, the hole with you. It's, where, where, where are you going? Spider Man's going to talk to you. That's his move. So. Okay. <laughs> disgusting twenty. Yes, disgusting twenty. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, wh which means he did it again. Now, is that was that just he's you know just the chance is that the dice the way they they, they fell as they may, or is it that he's blessed and he's going to continue to roll twenties for the rest of the night? Or I think did he finally get new dice? It's open to interpretation. Uh, but anyway, uh, Spider Man like floats down the the shaft halfway between three and two, and it's like talking to Nadar. It's like, dude, dude, where are you going? Um, I'm going to get the monkey. But, but why are you, why are you going to get the monkey? Well, some things are hard to explain. Let's just say, I think the monkey will be a long-term useful person. Okay, I don't feel comfortable like with us splitting apart, though, man. We could we could really use you. I mean, it's like, what if we run into more demons? Your axe can vanish them away. I don't feel comfortable with this guy owning a sentient gorilla. What'd you say? Sleep. He doesn't feel comfortable with me owning a sentient gorilla. Okay, all right. I go, well, look. If you have any trouble, pray to my god. Um, Wait, is that OOC? Because I'm not in the game. Um, no, you're OOC. 
Um, who, who's your god? I don't think you and I have really mm. had talked about, you know, you and I have really, I mean, no you way. saved my life and I appreciate it, but I, I don't think you and I have really talked too much about things like that. Well, if you really want to know, my god is Hawar. Hawar, okay. Pray to her. Ask her to give me guidance back to where you are. Okay. And I'll turn into an angel and return. You, you, you can do that? Yep. Um, okay. Kind of a thing that we've... I've been bestowed upon through my old age. Um, now. Cool. Okay, well... All right, if you think it'd be a good idea to get the gorilla, I guess go get the gorilla, but just... I don't know, just, just be careful. Right, I man. It's think really... it'd be a wonderful idea. It's really Because dangerous. if you see, we have Bodok. That's true. All right, well, just just really be, just be really careful out there, okay, man? I mean, we don't... What, I don't know what happened. Like, you know, there's a bunch of demons in, in the city, and, like, it's really dangerous, and... Yeah, just... All right. God, I wish... <sighs> Look, you have the vampire. It's true. I think he's actually a half-vampire. Devin, you're a half what vampire, happened? right? He's not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> um, by technicalities, half vampire, my blood, I, I, I have an ancestry of vampire. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Look, uh, d just, just understand that you have the 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 half vampire, half ass hat. That's what you have. Okay. You have you with your shooty pants and. You have another man who has taken down a Kraken, and you have a team that can be foreboding. Just make it to wherever you use them correctly. Do All not right. allow yourselves to mitigate. All right. Man, if I were back home, I could give you, like, an Avengers communicator. I mean, we could keep in touch. Oh, wait! I got it! All right, um, hold still. I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, actually, mm -hmm. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Just come here. Spider-Man floats over to you, and he pulls something out of his wrist, and it's a little tiny metal spider, and put this somewhere on your body. I do so, and I go, well... Okay, hold on, hold on just a minute. At, as you're putting it away, he pushes it, and you notice it's blinking very, very faintly red and light. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That's a spider tracer. If you ever get in trouble, or we have trouble tracking you down, I can track you down with that. Wonderful. I guess you could say the Avengers of this world can assemble. Uh, I suppose so. That's that's actually kind of our, our catchphrase. It's really cool. All right. Well, just take it easy out there, man. Okay? And he extends his hand to shake your hand. I shake his hand and go, we will meet again. Okay. All right. Good luck out there, N N Nadar. Pray to Huar if I need you, right? Absolutely. All right. We'll do. All right, Devden. This is going to be really sad if Nadar dies. <laughs> yes, it will be. Um, Devden, what are you what are you gonna do? Um, so all that's happened is he's left. He's called after Bodok, and we're not we're not worrying about anything with combat with the other dude right now. Right. He technically hasn't left yet. He's just he's starting to leave, and Spider Man went in to talk to him. It's like, you know. and Bodok hasn't moved yet, but it looks like he's about to. Bodok, I advise that you stick with your actual friends, real ones. What? Wouldn't abandon you over such whimsical things. What? What? What, what do you mean, friend Devden? You are all my friends. You and yes. and the, and the, the, the Spider Man and, and us. Dar and 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 Zin, Zin, the lovable lovable mage who would never hurt me, and Giant Reinhardt, and 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 person we scared into forcing to work Hi, with us. Bodok. Yes. Oh, hi, Reinhardt. Oh, an invisible, visible monster person. Like, you're my friend. Fucking die. I tried to kill you before. Why wouldn't you die? Oh. It, no, that ray you shot just made me tickle. But you were all my friends. I wouldn't leave any of you. Well, yes, but it seems that Nadar is abandoning the rest of us as of now. Um, Make a diplomacy check to convince Bodok to stay. Oh, Rem Lazar re reference. No, it's not Rem Lazar, but that's... Th thank you for the reference there. 
I made a 45. 45. Ooh. All right. Let me bust out the epic level handbook. Um, okay, so... Bodok is... I think it's fair to say Bodok's attitude towards you is helpful. So... That's this is gonna be problematic. <laughs> All right, uh, I want. Where's my epic skills? Ah, feats. Yay. All right, good, 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 good. Uh, epic skills. Fuck yeah. All right. Um. All right. So Bodok was helpful to you, because Bodok likes you. He Bodok likes all of you guys, and you made a forty-five. And that is not high enough. Bodok is, um... You have not elevated Bodok to fanatic. Uh, Bodok Bodo is... like or like like? Bodok not sure what to do. You say stay here, but Nadar tells me to go with him. Bodok uh, not sure what to do in this situation. Does Nadar hear this? Uh, you do hear this. I would like to walk over to Bodok... You can only float up to him because you're in this shaft that violates gravity. I float up to Bodok. The beholder just looks at all of you like, I really hate you being in my room. But and I go over to him and go, Bodok? Yes, friend Nadar. Listen. There are two paths you can take. You can either go with me... And there is a slight possibility that you will never see them again. <gasps> because I cannot guarantee your safety. Nor my own. Bodok not one or, of your friends. Or you can go with them and they can guarantee your safety. But, but Bodok might not see you again. I understand. It's just a matter of I think you would be safer here. A disgusting oozing um, rivulet of oil leaks out uh, from underneath uh, Bodox Oakley's. His eyes. Okay, he's crying. Yeah. Uh, I go. I go. Bodox. Bodox looks, under- looks at you, and the Bodox looks at Devden, and the Bodox looks at you, and the Bodox looks at Reinhardt, and the Bodox looks at at Zin, and then Bodox looks at the guy that you just hit, the 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 the, the drow guard. He just kind of waves at him, confused, and I then Bodox looks at Doomsphere, and Bodox looks. Bodox doesn't know who to choose. I go, Bodok. Bodok. It is safer here than with me. You understand this, right? Bodok understands. I need you to stay here and be strong. Make as many friends as you can. Bodok will make friends. Bodok will make as many friends and as possible. I can guarantee you will see me again. Bodok starts crying. I give him a big old hug. Bodok hugs you back. Bodok gives you the biggest bro man hug to rival like Jack I... Black and Kyle Gass. To, to, to rival... I... Martin Sheen and Tom Cruise. Just the biggest man hug of all time. I look at Devdin and I go take care of him. Bodok, miss you, or friend. I will, or I will take care of you. It is the only thing I ask. And I begin floating back down the stairwell. Floating back down the stairwell. Oh, I'm so scared. Bo- Bodok will miss you, friend Nadar. I will miss you too, Bodoc. Okay. All right. Heavy drama. Okay. Um. Bodoc looks to you, Javdin, and so like, what? What should Bodoc do? Stay with us for now. Okay. Bodoc will stay not and make friends. We, not only could we use your help in multiple situations, but. You could also use a little help getting through this as well. Okay. Bodok will do as you say. It's at this point that the that the uh, the ghost uh, beholder, uh, in a rather loud voice, says, "Why haven't you killed a drow yet?" Turn and look at the motherfucker. Kill a drow right now. 
You expect us to move at the speed of a sound, a sound wave. You expect us to move faster than that at which magic can move. I'm losing my patience with you infuriating surface dwellers. Your patience is short. We have defeated you once before. Yeah, just you. It's glowering at you. And... Do, 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 do. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything bad. Uh. Hey, Davis. Um. Well, hold on. Let me see what the will save for this is. Here's the problem with creatures that are indifferent. They can easily not be indifferent. Yeah. Or I can roll intimidation against him, you know. You could. You could. Can I roll intimidation off of that? You, you could. I probably should. Do it. Charisma. Aha. Okay. This just might work. Uh, too late. Make a will save. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, it wait. Closes, oh, it, it, it closes its eye, and one of its eye stalks shoots at you. Before I have the chance to roll my to, to roll based off of my intimidating Yeah, you waited too long. You waited too long. I was I gave you a fucking opportunity and it was like while I was looking at the SRD, I found what I was looking for. So, zap. <laughs> roll will save. Is this for fear? No, something else. All right. Eight will saves. This character specifically. Your will is weak. Yeah, pretty much. That one? No, that's a 10. It's a 10? That is not high enough. You are slowed for its level number of rounds. Hold on. Um, you are slowed for 15 rounds. Okay, so what is slowed? You mean you become retarded. No. No. Uh, God, no. You can only take a single move action or standard action each turn, but both, uh, or, or, uh, nor may it take a full round action. Additionally, it takes you take a minus one penalty on attack rolls, AC, and reflex saves. A slowed creature moves at half its normal speed, rounded down to the next five foot increment, which affects the creature's jumping distance as normal for decreased speed. Uh, multiple slow effects don't stack. Slow counters and uh, dispels haste. So you're going to take only partial actions. You have minus one to attack, AC, and reflex saves. So he zaps you. Um, let me just see how smart he is. Wait, 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 wait. I can't take bonus actions either. Um, you can. A slow creature can take only a single move action or standard action each turn. Oh, shit. But yeah, this fucks your character pretty bad, actually. Uh, come to think of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do. Hold on. I think I have a solution to that. That's true. Um, I'm going to do a knowledge check to see how smart he is tactically. Um, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, hold, hold up, hold up. And can only take a single. No, he's not. He's just going to focus all his attention on you. Um, Staggered. No, no, no. It's going to get worse, dude. It's going to get really worse. You specifically pissed him off. So I'm sorry about this. I don't want to kill you. But you need to make a fortitude save now. As another race. Oh. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, I've he's got actually... A backup he's character, pissed... But... He's Damn it, pissed man. just now. Here's the thing. He's pissed just at you. He's not actually attacking anybody else. He's just focusing all his attention on you. At least Bodox. Fortitude save. save. A fortitude save. Fortitude save. Yeah. At least. at least I'm not dead. How's a thirty sound? Thirty sounds good. Um, negates the effect. Okay. You get zapped and you feel like he, he, you're, it, 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 this ray is trying to weaken yourself and you flex and you very slowly flex because you're slowed, but you shrug it off. So that one doesn't affect you. And the last one, hold on. Uh, uh, ooh, you just took that, you took that stupid mythic ability, right? Which one? The, the one that where you don't have an alignment anymore? Yes. Okay. This actually applies now. 
Uh, I have to read this. Okay, so you're going to take the best of all these, right? Yes, okay. I will take the, the best outcome for me. Okay. Based off of... So if they each have a different alignment attunement to whether they would affect or not, yeah. each one applies that I take the better outcome. Okay, so here's actually what's... Okay, so you're actually going to take the better outcome of this. I already know what it is. And I, I, I can already calculate how it would work. You need to make another fortitude save. Shit. Oh, no. You are treated as neutral for the sake of this. Oh, no. This is not going to end well. Feel it. 25. 25. You made it. Um, so I have to roll the damage. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Five. It's half and half again. You take... Um, he, the third ray zaps you and it burns your body and you take six damage. So, and that's all you take. What are you, what are you at right now? Hold on. I can tell you exactly um, where I'll be. After the damage, I'm at 162. 162, what's your, what's your max? Two, 216. 216, Okay. Uh, so it zaps you, it hurts you, and then finally, um, since his other, his stalks are on you, he moves forward, he, he moves forward, he's gonna try to bite you. Um. Uh, okay. What's your AC? And your, your AC's at minus one, remember. Uh, 21. 21. Okay, so normally it's 22? Yes. Okay. Uh, alright, it's actually, he, he, he's moving to bite you, it's actually a melee touch attack, but it's, you know what I mean. Um, oh, so it's just my touch AC? Um, yes. Then that's a 15. 15, okay, then he hits. You take an additional one damage as his teeth, his incorporeal teeth, rip in, rip right through your body, and it somehow cuts you and tears into you, and you're bleeding slightly, but you only take one damage. Okay, that's 161 then. Okay, so. And I'm pulling up all the wrong shit right now. <laughs> um... After biting you, he howls at you. Kill a drow now! Do as I command! Doomsphere commands you! Nadar, you, you witness all this before you were trying to leave. What are you going to do? He attacked Devon? Yeah, he did. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bitch. Horrible realization. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I heard what uh, Devden said uh, earlier, right? Yes, you heard all that. You've been trying to leave, and then all this happened. I'm not going to help him. Okay, you're going to float down. Um, you do float down to the next level? Yep. Okay. So, do, 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 do. Uh, all right. So, trying to look at what maps I sent you guys real quick. Um Oh, shit. I'm hitting all the wrong shit. Um, okay. It does it have level 2 on there? Like the map that I sent you guys? Level 2? Um, yeah. Yeah. There's... Right. Yeah. There's level 1, 2, and 3. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm pulling up for myself real quick because so I'm looking at it. Um, that's level 4. What is this? Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, all right, you float down to level two, and you are in the C six at level two, and you notice that there's like a two double doorways. There's a small doorway behind you. Oh, my motor left. And there's uh, okay, and you can't really see. You're still in the blue sphere, so you can't really see anything around that corner. But I mean, from the map, you know, there's another door there. Uh, but you, you can just see a two big double doors and a smaller double door at level two. Uh, are you going to do anything else? Uh, I'm going to walk through those double doors. You walk through those double doors. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find this monkey. Okay, so you're back in the hallway that y'all were originally in. Um, there's nothing in the hallway. Um, the walls look a little scorched. Um, there's a, a door to your left, a door in front of you. There's a hallway, and there's uh, 
a door to your left on the hallway, there's a door to your right, and then there's two big double doors, I want to say. And... Uh, which way is out? Uh, the way well, you actually, came in was the big double my, the, the I you, can look for myself. The way you came out was the big double uh, doors. Big double doors, please. Okay, you go through the big double doors. You're in the big double doors, and there's a lot of blood in this room. And, like, uh, like yeah, you, you noticed when you came up. And there's a bunch of little small doors, two double doors to your right, and a doorway to C-18. And the way the monkey went. Uh, the way you, you, he went past you downstairs. He's some this huge creature somehow very carefully lumbered its way downstairs. Um. So I'm at level two. Yeah. You're on C nineteen level, level, level two. C nineteen level two. Um, I'm going to go through those double doors to C8, or actually, would it be C16 that I'm trying to hit? Um, that I came from. C18 is where you came from. To get up to them? Right. C18 it is. You go into C18. Alright, and there's this gateway um, that is actually broken open. Uh, it looks like someone, someone just kind of broke those doors open that leads down the stairwell. Uh, to where? C... The stairway leads C. down to C1, where you originally were at. To where they're at? No, to originally, where where you started, you started at C1, if you recall. You were just inside the, uh... Okay, so, so I need to go find this fucking monkey. Right. I need to go through to C... I need to go through that door, C3... Uh, uh, do you? No, no, no. There, you're in C18 right now on level two, and you just went through these two big double doors, and then there's mm -hmm. this other doorway that's broken open that leads to a stairwell. That's the stairwell you came up at, which goes all the way around this big circular structure of the tower, and you, where you started at C1. That is just inside the castle. Okay. So what? What is? Clo I'm, I'm looking at it at level one. What is close to, uh, like... So we're talking the big circular staircase or the little staircase? The big circular staircase. And that's just outside the castle. Right. I'm going to start calling for the big monkey. Okay, you haven't actually... You're going to call for the big monkey from C18. I thought I was at... I thought we just said I was at C1. No, you never, you never actually gone onto the staircase. You just, you've been in. C oh, I'm going down the, down the stairs. stairs. Okay, start going down the stairs. Okay, we're gonna get back to you. Um, all right, I gave you a little bit more since you're all by yourself. Um, yes. Okay, Zin. Um, you, you just saw the the beholder ghost lay into Debden. What are you gonna do? Idiot. What you gonna do, How brother? We do that. Okay, um, can I actually, I don't think I can actually affect him. I mean, you affected him last time, you were the guy that dropped him. Well, yeah. All you have to do is murder Bodok. No! <laughs> no! I can't so that when do Nader that! Comes back, he can kill you instead of Devden. It's all part of my conspiracy. My my big horrible plan. I can see what you're planning. It's beautiful. Horrible one. It's it's delightfully mad. Yes. Mm. It is delightfully mad because you know Nadara will kill anything. That's true. He's like I, I know what you could do right now to end of... all of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. I still you know, have a box. <laughs> oh fuck, that's right, you do. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh oh no. Oh no. Um oh fuck it. I don't know what to do here. 
You could you could you could cry and pee yourself. No, no, no. Damn if you have to take a minute to think about what you need to do about uh, Devdin, I mean that does to say a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need to think because Defton was an because Defton was being stupid and antagonized this ghost beholder thing. Debatably, it's arguably he was being firm with it. It's just that it's an evil creature. Um, yeah, it's I mean, it, yeah, it, it's an evil creature, and it, its attitude was indifferent, which can very easily just elevate back to hostile because it's like. It's, it, it just didn't care enough about you to attack to keep attacking you. Now it's annoyed, and so it wants to attack you again. Or at least him. Yeah. Just think, oh. what would Spider-Man do? Oh, Spider-Man, you don't want to know what Spider-Man's going to do. Spider-Man has a very bad plan. Mm. He has an unbelievably yeah. bad plan. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Run away with Bodok? No, no. You've got to remember, I have an item, too. Oh no! No, go! Uh huh. Yeah. Please don't, please don't do it. Uh -huh. No. You know what? You know what? Yeah. I need time to think. I need time to think on this. Do you want to hold your action? Yes. Yes. All right. Do you want to? When, when are you going to take your action? You're going to hold your action until uh, what? Until. Uh, At this point, I'll just say until you, can think up. until you think of something to do, perhaps. Yeah. Until I can think of something to do. Okay. Alright, you guys notice yeah. Zinn hastily take out his spell book and, like, start running. No. <laughs> no. No, damn it. No. Fuck me. No, I don't want to die. No. Zinn does that. Okay, your action is held until you can think of something to do. Um. Mm -hmm. So, alright. Um, Reinhardt, what are you gonna do? Um, we're still floating in the pillar, right? Yes, you are. How far away would you say we are from the thing? Say it again? How far away... Oh, you're in Malay. You're the in Malay with this thing. You're definitely in Malay with this thing. Alright, then. Um, it's still focusing on... What's his name, right? Devden, yes. Ah... <sighs> Stepping uh, on the be beach, doo, doo, player. Doo, doo, doo. Stepping on the beach, do 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 do. Hold action for action is shield others. Requirement is him getting attacked. Okay, if he gets attacked, you're gonna do something. Okay, um, so that's shield, what you guys are doing. Um, David, your your newfound drow guard friend who was intimidated by Devdin into joining the party, and is totally super fucking loyal to you guys. Notices that Devdin gets, like, blasted the shit out of with all these rays, and is still standing. He very cautiously floats backwards off the platform, and then runs for the nearest door. <laughs> this is why oh Intimidate... Yeah, this God. is why Intimidate is a shitty diplomacy. This is why... This is why diplomacy's better. And, uh, hold on. Can I use a free action to say something? Uh, of course. Of course you may. Bye, friend. Have uh, a safe trip. Well, but bye, friend, I David. I hope he runs into Nadar. Um, you are... You, no, you're, you're on a completely different level. Uh, okay, so you... Let me see. Because you guys are on level three. Um, alright, he is going to run... If you're looking at level three, uh, there's two big double doors uh, outside of the big sphere thing. And he is going to run to the right and goes through the double floors and slams the doors closed. <laughs> and just, boom, and he's gone. David is gone. Uh, and I spent all day baking a backstory for him. <laughs> Stepping right. on the beach. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. All right, Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man sees this happening. It's like, oh, okay. All right, uh, guys, um, I'm going to do something. And, um... When I do it, you know what I'm going to do? Like, just beat the ever-loving shit out of the thing I'm about to summon. Sorry, guys, I gotta do this. He pulls out the magic jar. Oh, uh, no. He holds Does he the have magic a jar, jar of dirt? He opens the magic jar. Fa. Appearing as of nothing is a sort of beautiful, pale yeah. Cinnabite. 
you recognize. No. That Dev didn't recognize. No. Bodok recognizes. The rest of you don't. You've never seen this before. This woman has threads that are attached to like some skin that's peeling apart the top of her head. She's completely no. like like appears to be completely unconscious. That suddenly her eyes open up, and she turns over and looks at Spider Man and smiles and looks up at Dev and smiles. And it's like, okay, um, killer, I'm gonna take care of the beholder thing. Hold on. And he starts aiming the magic jar at the beholder. Devdin, it's your move. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we need more magic jars. We need to buy more magic jars. <laughs> I don't have actually, any magic Hold on, jars. hold on. I actually need to roll I need to roll Angelique's initiative. <laughs> so I am actually very surprisingly happy that I do not have to deal with this. Yes. Well, of course you are. You're not here. Angelique actually... Wait, wait. Does, uh... Does, wait, does, doesn't Nadar so recognize her? In the jar? Oh, actually, actually... What? No, Nadar actually never encountered Angelique. She was... That was... That oh, was no, that was, uh, Aaron. Uh, no, Aaron never no, no, encountered hold her on, either. Hold on, hold on. Eddie. Yeah. Eddie, so how... Since when did he get another Cinnabite in a jar? We captured one way back when, like, all four of them, like, ambushed us. No, five of them. This is the one that we put in the jar. This is the one that you uh, you thought was the most dangerous because it was summoning things. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's right. It's been in the jar the entire time, and he's known about that because he's been holding on to it. But he has no way of hurting Doomsphere. But he knows he can hurt a Cinnabite. So that's why he opened it up. But now you have a Cinnabite to deal with. Fortunately, she nat won her initiative roll, so she will go last. Eddie, I have a question. Stop yes. trapping things and yeah. just kill Um... Them. Doesn't a Cinnabite automatically feel the presence of a box? Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. So, she, wouldn't she be looking, less concerned about them and more concerned about where the box is? No, because they eluded her okay. and also trapped her and defeated her. So, she actually, she wants, she, yeah, and Spider-Man and Debden both had intent to open the box. She wants to, she wants to show them the pleasures of pain right now. But she does gotcha. sense the presence of the box, and she looks at Debden then looks like, kind of raises an eyebrow and looks downward. Hmm. And then goes and focuses back on Spider-Man and Debden. Uh, but she's not one to her initiative, so she's waiting for the time being. Um, Debden, what are you gonna do? Remember, you can only do a standard action, or, uh, the other thing. Hold on. Uh, standard action, or, uh, move action. Yes, it's specifically dictated by the, by the spell. And I should point um, out, Doomsphere is actually not looking at you. His eye is closed. You could hide. Um. Can I draw a weapon? Is that like a free thing for me? Or. Uh. Ye that's like a partial action. I'm saying. It, it says standard action, so you can draw a weapon. I'll say that, yeah. If you draw two weapons, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you end your turn. And you are... Oh, also, you're slowed for 15 rounds, so... Yeah, I know. Yeah. So so this is the first, effectively. Right. 15 long, sluggish rounds. Yeah. How close is the Cinnabite to me? It's in melee with you. It made a bite for you. Would I... Would you let me attack it? Yeah. Yeah. For, it's not. It's not. It, the big. The big guy is not looking at you, so you could hit it with the ghost touch. No, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at the Cinnabite. Oh, the Cinnabite? No, no, no. The Cinnabite. Spider-Man's underneath all of you. Uh, Angelique is halfway between level three and level two. Oh. Oh. I can't decide what's the bigger threat right now. That's true. <laughs> Spider-Man obviously felt it was Doomsphere. Well, I can I see what Spider Man's going for, and, and I'm cool with that. So I want to go after the Cenobite. So okay, I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just going to move towards her as, okay. as best I can. So you're moving more than five feet uh, away from uh, Doom Sphere. Doom Sphere's annoyed at you. Doom Sphere's going to take an attack of opportunity. Uh, and what's your AC, your touch AC again? Fifteen against him with okay. the slow. All right. Um, he misses. So, like, he tries to bite. He tries to bite at you again. And even though you're moving slow, you're just you just just get out of the way. So he misses. Uh, and you very slowly, you very slowly float down right into Malay with Angelique, and she smiles as you come close. I have such pleasures to show you. Thank you for making this princess so happy. Bodok. Um, Bodok scratches his head. Nidar told me 
The dark told me to make friends. Bodok will make friends. The problem is oh. Bodok's stupid. So Bodok may attempt to do gaze attack on Doomsphere, who's a ghost, and it wouldn't work on him. So, D DM do D D100 roll to see how smart Go Bodok is. 49. Shit. No. Hold on. <laughs> okay, fuck, fuck it. <laughs> fuck. Hold on. Um... All right, all right, all right. What was the last thing Bodog did? Bodog punched an undead, right? No, all right. Yes. Okay. Bodog, Bodog sees you float down. Bodog floats down with you and looks at Angelique. Hello, hello, strange woman. I am Bodog. Will you be Bodog's friend? <sighs> Glasses. <laughs> so, <laughs> if she nat ones this, I, I this is gonna make my year. <laughs> this is like. It's probably not gonna work. Oh. It's probably not gonna work. But if he, if if if, if it does, oh man, <laughs> then I have to figure out what happens <laughs> because they can't die. Uh, it's like a fortitude save, and um, wait, isn't that Oda other Bodok with me? No, uh, Bodok, Bodok stayed with. You told him to stay up here. No, 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 not Bodok. The other one that he turned into a Bodok. You still have it, yeah. It's been okay. Wait a minute, that was twelve hours ago. Uh, you got another nine hours before that thing turns into a Bodok. Fair enough. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's been about three hours or so. Um, okay, she's got to make a fortitude save. Let me get um, Bodok's sheet up here. Um, uh, okay, she's got to make a fortitude save of 15. And she has 17, so it's probably... He's not a mortal, so she has she has a bonus to mortal magic. But he's not mortal, so um, so if she nat ones, it'll be great. She eighteens. No, he looks at her, and it's like she just looks at him curiously. It's like, um, I would love for you to be my friend. Very well, you may. Would you like it if I peel your skin off? It's very pleasurable. Bodok don't think that would be very good. No, no, it's wonderful. It's very, it's very sensual. I think you'll be very interested in it. And she starts kind of reaching her hand to kind of like seductively feel him. Or I, I could perhaps remove your arm and reattach it. It's actually very pleasurable. It's just like that. Bodok not know many things, but Bodok think that not very good. Oh no, no, it's really great. It's like it's your name, Bodok. It's like it's, I, I, I am Bodok. Bodok is having a conversation with Angelique now. She is distracted. So, um. And uh, I don't think Black Tentacle works on ghosts. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Doomsphere. Doomsphere's really pissed that you keep flying away from him. Doomsphere opens his eye. Doomsphere looks down at Devden and Spider-Man and everybody. Right at Spider-Man. And floats down and is going to try to bite Devden. Um... Two things. Yeah, held action. Go. Knock your. Knock. He he's floating down and making a bite towards uh, Devden. What are you gonna do? Uh, uh, shield others. Uh, so you have to be in melee. You have to be in, you have to be in melee with Devden in order to do that. Ah uh, damn! Why do you move you, away, Devden? Don't don't you? I think. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that that's a paladin ability, uh, right? Uh, it's one of the spells. I'm. Oh, it's a spell. Hold on. Looking it up now. Yeah. Good instincts. R Shield other. Uh close twenty five feet plus five feet per two yeah, you can hit him. Uh the spell wards the subject and creates a okay. mystical connection between you and the subject that, that uh, so that some of its wounds are transferred to you. The subject gains a plus one deflection bonus to AC and a plus one um resistance bonus on saves. Um okay, so based on that alone and based on my roll, which is a thirteen, he misses. So you you're like you're like you're you're, you're like Devin! Shield other. You create a force field that like just emanates around Debden, and he bites at it and just like he, I think he 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 just barely hits the force field and bounces off of it. Nothing happens. So you've yeah, you're good. Um, so okay, you have Debden. You have a shield other spell on you that is connecting you to to Reinhardt. Um, okay. Um the um the oh wait a minute, but it doesn't actually matter right now. No, <laughs> so. Okay, his eye is open. So actually, here's what happens. Okay, Reinhardt, you cast the spell, and nothing happens. You you, you feel yourself casting it and fizzle. Uh, oh, it just it, you you know it failed. The spell failed for some reason. Uh, and but he's not looking at me. No, he's not looking at you. He's looking at Devdin, and Devdin's the subject of the spell. 
So the effect of the spell is off him. It's basically it basically negates the spell. And also, uh, okay. anything magical on Spider-Man, Angelique, or Deb or Devden is not working right now. Including technically her immortality, I suppose. That's a supernatural I think it's a supernatural ability. God damn it, I didn't put the Hellraiser book on my on my computer. Shit! Dude. No! no. God damn it! Ah! Why have you done this? Alright, hold on, hold on. This is a perfect time for an act break. So let me let me let me pause oh the recording. Oh my god. Okay, we're at